I will spend hour testing local AI agents, things like AutoGPT, OpenDevin, and LM Studio. Nothing is more frustrating than your laptop lagging or heating up right when things start getting interesting. Because running AI agents isn't just about coding or web browsing. You are dealing with a lot of things at once, like embedding, inference, web browsing, API calling, and all that happening in the real time. It puts way more stress on your laptop than you'd expect. So in this video, I will walk you through five important things that you should keep in mind while buying a laptop for AI agents in 2025, especially if you are a student or just starting out. So first up first is the CPU. This handles the agent's thinking and coordination. From planning to managing tools, every decision starts here. Running frameworks like the Langchain, Autogen or Crew AI, you will want a 12th generation Intel i5 or the Ryzen 5 7000 series and up. Then comes the accelerator, your GPU. When you are generating text with LLMs like GPT-4, Claude or Mistral, that's inference and it's GPU intensive. If you want to run models locally with Olama or LM Studio, you need a dedicated GPU with at least 6GB VRAM. RTX 3050 is a good start, but only if it's above 70W of TGP. RTX 4060 or higher, go for 80W plus TGP for smoother, faster responses. This is your RAM and storage combo. 16GB is the minimum. 32GB is ideal for stable multitasking across agents, databases, and tasks. For long-term memory, storage matters. You will download models, vector databases, tools, environments, and logs. Choose a 512GB or higher NVMe SSD. Speed matters, so skip the old SATA drives. Choosing the right OS. For the best results, go with the Linux or WSL2 on Windows. Linux is fast, lightweight, and support all AI frameworks. But for Windows, WSL2 provides a Linux environment on the Windows for compatibility. Mac OS works well with M1, M2 chips, but lacks GPU acceleration for heavy tasks. It's fine for smaller models, but you will miss out on tensor codes for deep learning. So now that you know what to look for in an AI-ready laptop, let's look at the budget segment that won't break the bank. First up, the Lenovo Log 2024. Priced at $62,990, it comes with an AMD Ryzen 5 7235Hs, 6 core, 12 threads, and NVIDIA RTX 3050 and 8GB of DDR5 RAM. This is a great entry point if you are just starting out with the tools like the LM Studio or GPT-4. You can explore local models, build basic agents, and get hands-on without relying on the cloud. It is stays cool and responsive under pressure. Just consider upgrading the RAM later for smoother experience as your project grows. Next, the HP Victus AI at 74,990. This one steps things up with a Ryzen 5 8645Hs, same RTX 3050, but a much better 16GB of DDR5 RAM. That extra memory really helps when you are running multiple tools or experimenting with vector databases and agent workflows. It's ideal if you want a more balanced, ready-to-go setup for serious and deep explorations into AI agents. And finally, the Dell G15-5530, priced at 75,990. This one packs an Intel Core i5-13450HX, 10 cores, 16 threads, the RTX 3050, and 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. Thanks to the stronger CPU, it handles multitasking better. Great if you're managing multiple agents or testing larger models. It feels snappy, reliable, and a bit more future-proof even within a student budget. Let's move into the mid-range segment. The first laptop in this list is the Acer Nitro V15 at 80,990. It's powered by the Ryzen 7 7735Hs, 8 cores, 16 threads, RTX 5050 GPU, and 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. A great balance of price and performance. It runs tools like LM Studio, handles local models, and can manage basic agent workflows without lag. Ideal if you're stepping up from an entry level but still want good thermal control, and stability. Next, the Asus Tough Gaming A15 at 84,990. You get a Ryzen 7 7435Hs, RDX 4050, and 16GB of DDR5 RAM. It's similar to the Nitro, but with that tough build. More durable, slightly better thermal handling, perfect for students who plan on running vector databases, testing auto GPT, or juggling multiple AI tools without hitting issues. Then there is the MacBook Air with M2, priced at 88,990. It uses the Apple M2 chip, 8 core CPU, integrated GPU, and 8 GB of unified memory. While it lacks a dedicated GPU, it's snappy for coding, building light AI applications, and testing models via APIs or notebooks. Plus, it's ultra-portable, fanless, and lasts all day. Great for on-the-go learners or developers. 
Next, the HP Victus at 90,990. This one rocking an Intel Core i7-13620H, 10 cores, 16 threads, RTX 4060 GPU, and 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. Here's where you start seeing serious local AI performance. You can work on heavier models, experiment with frameworks like the AutoGen, and still get smooth multitasking. It's great for pushing your AI project further without entering the high-end bracket. Now, the MacBook Air 2025, priced at 99,900. This model comes with the Apple's latest M4 chip, 10 cores, 8 core integrated GPU and 16 GB of unified memory. Don't be fooled by the lack of a discrete GPU here. It's powerful enough for agent development, notebook workflows, or building AI apps. A battery life, portability, and coding efficiency are your priority. This Mac is unbeatable in this price range. Moving on to the Lenovo Lock at 99,990. It features an Intel Core i7 13650HX, 14 cores, 20 threads, RTX 43 GPU and 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. This one punches way above its price, from running heavier local models like the Mistral or the Mixtral to managing multi-agent systems and databases. It handles everything without breaking a sweat. You are entering the upper mid-range zone. Alright, the first laptop in this list is the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16, priced at 1,14,900. It comes with an Intel Core i7-14700HX, which has 20 cores and 28 threads. You also get an RTX 4050 GPU, and it comes with the 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. With its setup, you can comfortably handle multitasking, coding agents, and even running lighter local LLMs. This one is great if you want a strong CPU performance for AI workflows without jumping into the extensive GPU territory. Next up is the Asus ROG Strix G16, priced at 1,15,990. It's powered by the Intel Core i7-13650HX with 14 cores and 20 threads. You get an RTX 4050 GPU, and it comes with a 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. This one is perfect for developers or AI enthusiasts who wants a solid starting point for local experimentation. Whether it's playing around with the auto GPT, building agents or coding with multiple tools open, and the design is gamer style, but it's still classy enough for everyday productivity. Now we have the Asus of Gaming A15, priced at 1,37,990. It features an AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS with 8 cores and 16 threads. You also got an RTX 4070 GPU, and it comes with the 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. With this setup, you are stepping up your GPU power, great for running medium to heavy models locally, building agents or running things like the LM Studio or GPT-4. This one is great if you are building agents, running local inference or just want a strong balanced machine that doesn't overheat or lag while you test AI workflows. Then we have got the Acer Predator Helios 16, priced at 1,46,990. It's powered by the Intel Core i7-14700HX with 20 cores and 28 threads. You get an RTX 4060 GPU and again, you've got 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. This one is excellent if you need a stronger CPU multitasking, maybe running a local server, multiple tools or doing development while training smaller models. It's well ventilated, snappy and beast for the price. And finally, at the top of this range is the Lenovo Legion 5 2024, priced at 1,67,000. It runs on the Intel Core i7 14650HX with 14 cores and 20 threads. You get an RTX 4070 GPU and it includes 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. This one's for those who want a mix of power, design, and long term reliability. Great for AI workflows, 3D task, or serious development work where you need your system to just work. No thermal throttling, no lag, just clean and smooth performance. Alright, if you've got a premium budget, first up is the MacBook Pro 2024, priced at 1,62,990. It comes with the app. Apple's new M4 chip which had 10 cores, 6 for performance and 4 for efficiency. You also got 10 cores integrated GPU and it comes with the 16 GB of unified memory. With this setup, you can easily code, test AI apps, run smaller models and enjoy super smooth multitasking. It's silent, portable and great if you are more into development and on-the-go work than raw GPU performance. Next is the MacBook Pro M4, priced at 1,91,990. It runs on the more powerful M4 Pro chip with 12 cores, 8 performance for efficiency. You also got a 16 core integrated GPU and it comes with a 16 GB of unified memory. This one's a step up for creators and AI developers who want a MacBook that can handle tougher workloads. Whether you are editing, working with APIs, or managing multiple AI tools at once, it stays cool, quiet, and smooth. Finally, we have got the Lenovo Legion Pro 5, priced at 1,99,490. It's powered by the Intel Core i9-14900HX, a monster chip with 24 cores and 32 threads. You also got the RTX 470 GPU, and it comes with the 32 GB of DDR5 RAM. This one is an absolute beast if you are running big models like the Mixtral, training custom agents, or doing heavy AI multitasking. This laptop won't flinch. It's built for performance with strong cooling and tons of power under the hood. 
If this review helped, consider subscribing for real world benchmarks and the test that most reviewers skip, but which can make huge difference if you're buying a laptop related to the AI work. All the laptops I mentioned in this video are linked down below through an affiliate links in the description box. Using those links doesn't cost extra to you, but it helps support the channel so I can keep pushing more videos like this. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below in the comment section. I read and reply to every serious comment. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Till then. Stay awesome.